Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a cage tour for my dwarf hamster Vladimir. The dimensions of this tank are 32 inches long by 16 inches deep which gives him 512 square inches which is well over the US minimum of 360 square inches but it does fall slightly below the UK minimum of 589 square inches. So this tank is a little on the small side and I wouldn't recommend it for a young active hamster. I think especially for dwarfs because they're so active and they're so hyperactive basically. They just need so much space to zoom around on um, but he's not like that anymore and there's nothing wrong with him. He's just getting older so he's not as active and he doesn't use as much space as he used to. And I don't want to stress him out by moving him from cage to cage. And I think this is a good size for him, considering his age. So please no comments about the size. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for a young, active hamster, but he is getting older. And he doesn't use all of this space, to be honest. So I think that this is perfectly good for him. So just in this side here, he has his 6.5 inch silent spinner which is a really good size for him and it is actually very quiet um, and then just under there he has his fair plast house which came with an old cage and he likes to store his food in there and then under the substrate he has a underground tunnel system um, just because he really likes burrowing so I thought I'd make the most of having deep substrate and I'd bury some toilet roll tubes down there and make a system for him under there that's already built and then he just has this second level which I made out of lollipop sticks and wooden dowels. And then he just has this really really cute mason cash bowl which is red with white polka dots. And inside he has his dwarf hamster mix which I do have a video on but I should probably do a new one soon because it's not very good. Um, but I make up the mix out of a few different commercial brands and pick bits out as well but it's mainly... Um, Burgess Super Hamster, Dwarf Hamster Harvest and Harry Hamster and there's a couple more things in there as well. And then he has his sand bath which is in this carrot shaped snuggle safe bowl which is absolutely adorable. And inside he has Supreme Science Charlie Chinchilla Bathing Sand and it's chinchilla sand not dust so it's not harmful to his respiratory system and he really enjoys rolling around in it. Um, because as you know hamsters can't have baths in water um, so you can give them a bath with sand in so they can keep themselves nice and clean and then just there stuck with industrial strength velcro he has a classic um, water bottle which is nothing special and then he's got a board and breaker rainbow bridge which I think is absolutely adorable and I think it really brightens up his cage and then he's got an oil burner which makes a really really cute house for a dwarf which I got from B&M for a pound. And then here we've got another homemade toy which again I have a video on. And he's got a corn leaf book um, which I think I got from Wilkinson's and he's had for ages but he loves it. And then he's just got a bendable bridge which I think is one of the unbranded ones um, from Viovet or Vet UK or something like that and they're a lot cheaper if they're unbranded. So Vladimir has moved into Marmaduke's old tank and the main reason is because with the iMac Fantasy cage which I loved although it was providing him a lot of space he had um, over 1,500 square inches altogether. Um, he was climbing up the bars and now he's got older he's become a bit more clumsy and he would climb up to the top of the bars and then fall off and I was really really concerned that he would fall off and hurt himself so that's why he's in the tank now and if he gets more clumsy which I imagine he will with age then I'll of course take out the little second shelf level thing that I've built him in there and he can just have the floor and I'm a lot more comfortable with him being in here because I think there's a lot less that he can hurt himself on so that's the main reason he moved and although he's got a little less space um, I'm a lot less concerned about him in this tank and it means that he can also burrow loads which he absolutely loves and he's got a huge underground tunnel system which he is really really enjoying so overall I am pleased that he's moved because now I'm not 
half as worried about him. So we do actually have a top made for this tank already and that was when Marmaduke was living in it um, but she's recently been upgraded and so I'm sure you all know. Um, but we did make a top for this tank which I don't really need on for Vladimir because he would not be able to climb out but it gives me another sense of security knowing that you know he's definitely safe in there and I do have a video on how I made that which I'll link in the description bar. All the links will be in the description bar so please read that before commenting and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!